everyone keeps telling me how my story is supposed to go. Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. Miles Morales is back as the teenage web slinger in an alternate universe in the sequel to the hugely popular and successful animated film Spider-Man Into the Universe. And to the Spider-Verse, I'm sorry. And the new movie is out now, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. It takes Miles into a world full of even more spider people and spider creatures. So let's bring in movie critic Gray Drake for her review. Welcome back to the show. Great to see you, hey. as always. Uh, heading into a Friday. So let's start with Across the Spider-Verse. Oh, my God. Okay, so watching this movie is like two hours and 20 minutes of being in a modern art museum, oh. except you're not confused or annoyed to be there. <laughs> That's it awesome. is so amazing. <laughs> we waited five years for the sequel, and when the last one came out, we met Miles Morales, who's a different Spider-Man, and in this movie, since it's the middle movie out of three, there's a lot more character development. We meet Gwen, we get a lot of backstory about how it's, what it's like with Miles growing up, and we get a new villain. Okay, the movie's packed with stuff, and you said tons of spider people and spider <laughs> mm -hmm. creatures. It will blow your mind. This movie's amazing. So oh. imaginative. I'm so glad to hear this because my fiance Doug is dying to take his son to this movie. Oh. So I'm glad to hear that they'll come home happy because <laughs> there's nothing like them coming home complaining about a movie. Uh, the true <laughs> definition of quality time. Okay, yeah. great. Oh, for sure. sure. Uh, we want to talk about the boogeyman. This one looks spooky. And if you're afraid of the dark, maybe uh, sit this one out. Stay far <laughs> away. Okay. I love horror movies. And this one had me staring at dark corners suspiciously. It's like really there's one scary. in the yeah. studio and I'm oh. like, uh-uh. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Sophie Thatcher from Yellow Jackets plays the older sister and she's really concerned about her younger sister because their family has been through a huge trauma. They've lost their mom. And Chris Messina from Mindy Project is their father. Oh, okay. cool. He's a psychiatrist. He gets an unusual patient coming in and then weird stuff starts happening in their house. It is so upsetting. Like. There's, it's, it's in the dark, most of it. It's, I, w I loved it and hated it all at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, there's some love there. I mean, I, so I'm into this kind of stuff. Not the action-packed or fantasy, yeah. but I, I like to get scared. I so like to be a like... little scared, too, but I don't like the gore that comes with it so often. That's the good news. There's not a lot of gore in this, but if you saw the movie Smile recently, oh, it came uh -huh. out last Freaky. year, this one's creepy and lingers with you mm. just like Smile. Okay. okay, so watch it during the day. I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's my style. Or I get spooked company. out, though I do love those kind of movies. So let's talk about something that is not scary. Arnold Schwarzenegger is making his TV series debut on Netflix as an about to retire CIA operative until he gets an assignment with his daughter, who is Top Gun Maverick star Monica Barbaro. You came along. What was the plan? To kill all of you and then to leave. And now, with all our guns out, I'll manage. You're the fastest 65 year old white guy on the planet. Arnold Schwarzenegger is a retiring CIA operative in the Netflix action series Boobar. Now, since I'm retired, I'm going to leave my wife back. What's going to stop us? 15 year old divorce baby? She doesn't love you anymore. Or finding out their daughter is also an operative. The series marks Schwarzenegger's TV series debut. It's a much bigger challenge. No two ways about that. But it was fun because it was uh, a story based on my, one of my favorite movies that I've done, True Lies. And so the idea of combining uh, so much action with also so much comic relief uh, was really fantastic. You should end the marriage before you... Do you think I'm a virgin? Well, let me think what I want to think. Oh my God, I'm 28. We had a really fun time. We give each other a hard time a lot, which helped the, I think, father-daughter dynamic. We'd met a couple years prior, and by the time we were finally getting to shoot this, um, we just knew each other pretty well and could, like, tease each other and play and have fun and um, keeping pretty much everything to the script, but still just, like, having a really good time with it. What? <laughs> wow. This actually looks funnier Gray. than I would have expected. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's a protective dad. So, Gray, I'm curious what you think. Okay, I am so glad they made this a TV show because what's <laughs> the only thing better than two hours of Arnold? 
about eight. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. okay. Love Big it. fan. I didn't yeah. know where you were going with that, but <laughs> got it. Yeah. So fans are going to love seeing him back in his element. But this is, like you said, way funnier than he normally is. He's a pretty funny guy. Like, he owns a donkey in real life. Oh, I love he her. Does? Yes. <laughs> yes. Her name is Lulu, and we love, love her. <laughs> How do you know this? It, I, just because I am obsessed and follow him on Instagram. Okay, okay. Oh, there you socials, go. And All right. He's very proud of Lulu, just like he should be really proud of the show, because it's a really amazing that Netflix has invested so much into this. It shows, it looks great, it's fun. And FUBAR is like a military acronym for. Uh, uh, yeah, as, we, yeah. Yeah, abbreviation for messed up beyond all recognition, yeah. kind of. It's a little swear. It is a little, yeah, it is okay, a little, we we'll get look it. it up. But basically, the show follows suit without exactly, so you can never predict it. And he had it, didn't he? Have like 30 years ago another kind of similar thing where he played a dad, like kindergarten cop or something. Oh, and Jingle the All the yeah, Way. Same dynamic. Oh, yeah, Jingle my, All yes. the Way. I love that so movie. Yeah. We love our paternal Arnold. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's funny. Funny. I also do love Monica Barbaro Bar though too yeah. from Top Gun Maverick. I uh -huh. feel like you know we saw her. She was great. So it's nice to see her on a different platform as well. Yes, and holding her own with all of these really established stars. Yeah. Like, I can't wait to see what she does next because she really shines yeah, in this. Yeah, great. All right, great. Thank you. Thank you. Definitely.